Hello everyone, I am Mahesh and today I am going to uh, showcase you how to install Jen Jenkins on your Windows machine. Now Jenkins is one of the most popular tools for continuous integration and continuous delivery on any platform. Now Java application Jenkins have many plugins for automating uh, almost everything at the infrastructure level. The use of Jenkins has widely increased rapidly due to the rich set of functionality. Now, which it provides in the form of plugins. Now, in the today's video, what I'm going to explain you how to install Jenkins on your Windows machine. Now, there are basic some prerequisites on your machine. So, first, you need to install JDK on your machine so that it will help you to do the further installation. Okay. Now, let's download Jenkins on your machine. So, let me download Jenkins for. Okay. So, let me say download Jenkins. I can go to the download Jenkins page. Now I can select if this is my Windows machine, I'm going to select Windows and it started downloading my uh, Jenkins on my local machine. So once that is over, then I can start installation of this Jenkins uh, download. Okay, so we can just wait till it's uh, complete the download. Okay, now uh, my download is complete uh, for the Jenkins. I'm going back to my download folder. I can see Jenkins here. Now I simply double click on this Jenkins and it is asking me to start running this binary. I said next. Then I said this is my path where I can uh, so I mean install Jenkins at a particular location. I said no uh, run and then you can run this as a local system or you can run this as a uh, one of your uh, one of your the local domain user. So it is all up to you how you wanted to run this code. So yeah, either you can set your uh, local system, either you can set your the local and the domain user. I am going to select here run service as a local system. I said next. Then it is currently the port number which is mentioned here. I just test my port and it is saying this is available. Just click on next. It is taking my current JRE version. I said next and then if you have any firewall exception or something you just got those uh, details over here you simply said no x and you simply said install or your jenkins so same way it will install the jenkins on your local machine then the further steps is to you need to create your own user and password for the jenkins so let's see if it is saying the finish i'm going to stop this finish now once installation is done it is opening by default this page that is localhost 8080 and it will jump you to this location where it is saying you just uh, copy your password from this location and paste it here as your administrator password to proceed further. So let me copy my um, password from this location and then I can paste it here on the administrator password and then I'll simply click on the continue. Just give me a second I'll simply copy this path from here. I simply say control C and then I can simply paste somewhere in my run and then I can uh, get my uh, particular password and then I can paste it here. Now if you can see here I simply go to this folder where uh, I exactly uh, needs to see my uh, uh, the password for this particular uh, 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 Jenkins uh, admin okay the administrator password so i simply go there i simply select um, the path i can see this ad, uh, initial admin password you can open this file into the edit plus or any of the editor you simply open you simply copy that password and paste it on your uh, uh, web here so let me paste it here i can simply paste i simply click on continue and i said never let's say what happened next now it will ask you to customize your Jenkins. When it is asking you to customize your Jenkins, it means either it will ask you to install some suggested plugins or you can select the plugins to install and proceed further. So both the options are available for you. You can select any of these options and proceed to install or customize your Jenkins. In our case, I am going to select install suggested plugins and it will start getting started to install all the plugins. You need to just wait for uh, some times uh, till the point, I mean, it will install all the plugins uh, to proceed further. Currently, I'm taking only uh, suggested plugins. So it is installing your folder, timestamper, pipeline, git, LDAP, 
was for security, workspace cleanup, GitHub branch sources, and SSH email. All those are the uh, suggested plugins for yourself so that they are started installing those suggested plugins. So once those are over, then we can see um, the login screen where we need to set some users and password for ourselves to log in always. Okay, so we can wait till uh, all these uh, particularly um, uh, all the suggested plugins get installed and then we can uh, proceed with the user creation. Okay, once I had done all the installation of all the plugins, then I can see my create first admin user screen here. So what I can do here, I can simply create my first admin user where I, I, I have set up my username, password, confirm password, full name and email address. So I can set up my username as Mahesh Upadhyay. Okay, then I can say my password is um, anything that you don't know right now and i can set up my password then i can set up my full name and then i can set up any of my mail id here which i can say this one and i can simply set save and continue from this uh, particular page so that i have been set up one of my user and password so let's click it is saying you can set up something like underscore i am giving some value here like one two three and i say save and continue now so this is how i can set up i simply said save and finish and jenkins is ready to use once i start using jenkins it will launch my local host here itself where i can see mahesh is logged in with the jenkins and this is how my first uh, uh, this is how i just installed jenkins on my machine so i i do have jenkins on the jenkins i can create my um, uh, the jobs i can set up my build history i can see my build history and the local everything this is how we can just install jenkins on your system Thank you so much for uh, watching this video. I am definitely you know, uh, presenting the next video, um, the further process of the Jenkins. Thank you so much once again.